Hey everyone, how's it going? In today's video, I want to show you guys how to draw a level 40 T-Rex from Jurassic World the game. So I hope you guys follow along and enjoy this video. Now to start off with this, we're going to begin with the eye. So I'm going to start right up here and I want to draw a little line that's just going to go down and that's going to curve up and down like this, kind of like the little eyebrow ridge. Next, starting right underneath there, I'm going to draw a small little oval shape. Now, starting back here, I'm going to draw a little line that's going to go up. It's going to come down above the eye and then go right to about there. Next, we're going to make a line that's going to go up. It's going to come to a curve or a little bump and then it's just going to go down like this for the mouth, or for the nose. Now, starting here, I'm going to take this line, I'm just going to kind of go down, and then I'm gonna bring it back up. So I'm going to go down, then I'm going to come up, kind of by the eye. We're gonna go back down a little bit. Then I'm going to come back up and curve it off to the side. Next, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to go down to start the mouth. Then we want to make a line that goes over, and then we're going to bring it down like this. Right here, we're going to add a little curved line just for that part of the mouth that kind of stretches open. And I want to add a few teeth on the top and bottom before I go any farther. So I'm going to add some smaller teeth on the top that kind of curve back and then they'll get a little bit bigger and then start to get smaller again. Then down here I'll do the same thing, kind of add some teeth. These are going to stay a little bit smaller. Right here I'm going to add a little line that curves down to start the tongue. Then I'll start right here, I'll draw another line, it's going to go out, and then come right back to here. Then I'll make a little line that goes up. Right here, we're going to add a little line that's going to curve up to the mouth. And then right around here, I'm going to draw a little line that's just going to curve right back towards the teeth here. So it's kind of like the other side of the mouth. And then I'm going to add some small teeth on this side too. Now starting here, I'm going to add a little line that's going to curve around. Then I'll make a little line that goes down and it's going to come up to here. And then I'm going to curve this around for the jaw. Now, starting right here, we want to make the head. So we're just going to draw a little line. It's going to go out, and it's going to slowly kind of slope down. I'm going to bring this down. I'm going to add a couple little curved lines just for some little wrinkles. I'm going to draw a line that goes up, and it's going to come down for the back. Then I'm going to continue this line. I'm going to curve it out to here. And then starting right here, not at the end, but over here on this line, we're going to draw a line that's just going to kind of go up and over towards the end of our paper, just so we have enough room to fit the tail in. Then I'm going to keep a pointy at the end. I'm going to go down, and we're going to make this get fatter and fatter as we come back towards the body. Now, starting right about here, I'm going to draw a line that goes down, and I'm going to curve this up for the neck. And then I'll make a little line right here that goes down. You can see I started here, not at the end, because I want it to look like this part of the neck is in front of this part of the body. Now, for the arms, I'm just going to start here and draw a little line that goes down. 
Then we're going to make a little line that goes out, and it's going to go down like this. I'm going to draw a line that goes down, and it's going to curve back up here for a claw. And then I'll make another one that does the same thing. It's going to go down, and then it's going to curve up. Then right here, I'm going to draw a line that goes back, and then it's just going to curve up like this. Then right here, we're going to draw a little line that goes down. And then we're going to start the leg here. So to draw the leg, you're going to begin right here. We're going to make a line that angles down. We're going to go past the belly. Then we're going to bring it back here. Then we're just going to draw a little line that goes down. Now over here, we're going to draw a little line that goes down like this. I'm going to curve it in just a bit. I'm going to draw a line that goes out, and that's just going to come down at an angle. Then for the foot, I'm going to draw a line that goes over, and I'm going to curve it back for a big claw. I'm going to go straight across and then curve another one over for another toe. And then I'll do one more. I'm going to go straight across. Then I'm just going to curve this up and bring it right up to the leg. And we'll just connect this little line back here. Now right here I want to put another arm in before I do the other leg. So starting right here, we're just going to draw a line that goes out, and it's just going to angle down. Draw a line that curves and comes back up. And then one more that's going to curve, and then just kind of flows right back up there. Then we'll draw a little line right back here. Now I want to draw this other leg. So part of this leg is going to be behind this arm right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start right here at the arm. And I'm going to draw a line that goes out just a little bit and then it's going to come straight down. I'm going to start by drawing a little line that curves down and then it's going to come straight across. Then I'm going to start up here and I'm going to draw another one that goes down and then it's just going to come straight across. Then I'm going to bring this leg up to here. And then I'm going to draw a nice diagonal line right back here. Okay, so here's our basic drawing of our Jurassic World, the game level 40 T-Rex. Now we want to come in here and add all of the details. I'm going to go a little bit faster through this part, but if I go too fast, make sure you just hit the pause button so you can catch up. So one of the things I want to do is add some details around the eyes. So I'm going to add a little kind of curved line right around each side of the eye. And then a little line or two underneath the eye. I'm also going to add just a tiny little pupil inside the eye. Next, starting here, I'm going to draw a little line that just kind of goes around and it's going to curve back here. It's kind of a broken line a little bit, some little spaces in there. And then I'm going to add a little line right here for the nostril. Make this a little darker up here. I'm going to add just a little kind of broken line that goes right around the top of the mouth. And then I'm also going to do that same thing right along the bottom there. I'm going to add a few quick little lines on the top and bottom of this part of the mouth here. And then I'm also going to add just a few quick little lines kind of right around the mouth here. Not, they kind of look like scars, but they're not really scratches, just kind of some details in the mouth there. Then I'm going to add a couple little lines right up here just for some detail and maybe a few lines right around the edge there. 
I'm gonna make some little curved lines that just kind of go right around the neck here for some little details and texture. And then I'll add some little extra long kind of lines right around the neck there. Right here by the arms, I'm gonna add a couple little curved lines just to show where the arms are kind of, you know, there's some wrinkle lines around there. I'm gonna add a couple little curved lines right around the claws here. And maybe a couple more by the hands. I'm gonna add a nice little extra line right there for some details. And then just how we did on the arms here, I'm gonna do this kind of same thing on the legs. Just add a couple little extra lines. I'm gonna add some little curved lines right around the knees. I'm gonna add some extra little lines kind of right along the back of the T-Rex and along the legs here. Where you made the toes, you wanna to add these curved lines so that we can actually have some separation between the claw and the foot. And then I'm just gonna add this extra little curved line right around here. Maybe a couple little lines going up the legs of the T-Rex. Back here, I'm gonna put this little claw. And over here, I'm just gonna add another one that goes down and then one that goes up. and add some extra little lines onto the arms and everything. Maybe a few little lines down the stomach. Maybe a few more back along the head. I'm gonna add just some quick little broken lines down the tail and a couple more here. Then you can always add some quick little extra lines these kind of curved little lines along the legs, kind of by the feet and toes. I'm gonna to add some extra curved lines around the legs here. Now, our T-Rex also has a lot of spikes on his back. So they're gonna start at the bottom of the neck and these spikes, they're gonna be kind of wide and they're just gonna be very pointy too. So we're just going to kind of make these a little bit smaller at first and we're just gonna make some of these kind of wide pointy ones. I'm gonna draw them in no real pattern or anything. They're just gonna be kind of going all over. I might put a few behind one another as well. So I'm just gonna do this and then these are going to go right down the tail as well. So we're just gonna kind of fill up the back here with some of those spikes. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna keep making some of these wide, fatter spikes. But I'm gonna make some of them a little bit bigger and kind of fill up some more space here along the back. So we're gonna do the same thing, just kind of right around there. Put a few random ones all over. Then I might put a couple extra large ones around here in some different spots. Now, one of the last things that our T-Rex is going to have on here is he's gonna have all these stripe patterns on here. So these stripes, they're just gonna be some kind of long, wavy, skinny lines that are just going to kind of go right down the back here. So we're just gonna kind of put some of these long stripes. They're very kind of like tigerish. So they're just wavy, they start out big, and then they're gonna to come to a point. So I'm just gonna kinda of run some of these right along the back of our level 40 T-Rex. So we're just gonna kinda of put these all along. They're gonna go right down the tail too. So we're just gonna kinda of fill these up right along the tail. There's also gonna be some going along the legs too. So I'm gonna put some right along the legs here. It's gonna have a few on the arms too. And then there's even going to be a few right on top of the head too. So we're gonna to put some right around the head as well. And there you go, there is your drawing of a level 40 T-Rex from Jurassic World the game. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed.